everyone and welcome back to another Artifact Corner. March is Women's History Month, and to commemorate that, we will be spending this entire month focused on the stories of women. The artifact that we will be looking at today is a very special portrait of a woman in our extended family. This is a portrait of Mehitabel Not Webb Dean, painted in 1767 by artist William Johnston. Mehitabel was the mother of Joseph Webb Jr who was the father of Henry Webb. Henry Webb married R. Francis Henrietta Delord, and their daughter, Fanny Webb Hall, was the last member of our family to live in the house. In this portrait, we see Mehitabel with her son, Jesse, who is aged about two years. Mehitabel is wearing a glorious gown, most likely made of silk, in a rich earth tone. You can see how the artist has used shading to suggest the sheen of the fabric and the beautiful draping in the skirt. Let's learn a bit more about Mehitabel and her life. Mehitabel was born in Wethersfield, Connecticut in 1732. Wethersfield was founded in 1634 by a group of Puritan men and quickly grew to be a commercial and shipping hub in New England. Mehitabel's father was a sea captain, involved in trade in the British colonies. The other major industry in Wethersfield in the 1730s was the growing of red onions. A common saying at the time was that you could smell Wetherfield before you could actually see it. This was the town Mehitabel was born into. In 1749, she married a prosperous merchant named Joseph Webb Sr. They built a large and beautiful house in 1752 and settled into married life. Mehitabel gave birth to six children three boys and three girls. Sadly, in 1761, after 12 years of marriage, Joseph died at the age of 34. Mehitabel was now alone with six children to care for. Life for a single mother in the 18th century was challenging to say the least. Mehitabel continued raising her six children and kept the home and family business running. Mehitabel contracted the services of a lawyer to help her manage the family affairs named Silas Dean. Dean was new to Wethersfield and an ambitious young man. Two years after Joseph's passing, Mehitabel and Silas Dean were married. A year after they were married, Mehitabel gave birth to their first child together, a boy named Jesse. And now we arrive back at the portrait of Mehitabel. There is a story behind this painting that is not only intriguing, but also quite sad. How much of this story is fact and how much is fiction is hard to fully know but the legend that has been passed down with this painting is compelling. The story is as follows. Mehitabel and her new husband, Silas, commissioned portraits by William Johnston. Silas's painting was completed and Mehitabel's was not. As Johnston was working on Mehitabel's portrait, she was consistently losing weight and becoming more gaunt. Mehitabel was dying of consumption, or what we would call today tuberculosis. One of the telltale signs of this disease was dramatic weight loss. You can see the halo around her face, and the legend states that this was because every time Johnston had Mehitabel sit for him, he would have to repaint her face due to her weight loss. Johnston never finished this portrait of Mehitabel. She likely passed away before he was able to complete it, and Mehitabel's portrait was tucked away until it was passed down to her great-granddaughter, Fanny Webb Hall. Fanny and her husband moved into our home in Plattsburgh, and Mehitabel's portrait came to live in Plattsburgh as well. Mehitabel died in 1767, at the age of just 35. She left behind seven children. Her eldest child was 18, and her youngest was just three at the time of her death. Her eldest son went on to fight in the American Revolution and was George Washington's aide-de-camp. Her children and grandchildren went on to be well-educated and successful members of early American life who moved in very influential circles. This is a very large and impressive portrait for the time. This piece is in fantastic condition and a prized artifact in our collections. Thanks so much for stopping by.